Alright, this is my third tutorial. On the past two tutorials, we've been working with programs that just ask for the password. But this time, we're going to mess around with a program that, you know, has username and password. You open up all the DBG. The program I'll be using is the SOX Crack Me 3. See? It used to be just like this, and then you enter the password, but now this is enter a name also. Um, Every different name has a different password, but I'm just going to make it so that no matter what password I type in, I'm going to get the right answer. And then later on, I'll show you how to find the password for you know each specific name. Alright. Username Brian, and I'm going to try hamster as the password. It doesn't work. Okay. Hamster gets rejected all the time, I'm telling you. Okay, um, we're gonna open it up in our DBG. You drag it in. Weird message, just click yes. You right click, go to search for all reference text strings. Alright, what's the error message? It was like invalid key or something. Well, re right click, you click search text. Invalid, okay. Uh, invalid. Nope, that's not the one I want. There it is. This is the one I want. Alright, um. Invalid key. Alright, um. I wanted to make me. I wanted the program to make me, you know, happy by giving me the good message. So I'll click on the good message. I double clicked on the good message to get here, by the way. Um. So, yeah, we want, we wanted to say congrat. Congrulation. Valid key. <laughs> Congregation. Okay, anyway, um, we s look at the. Now we see a conditional jump. Um, this conditional jump jumps to 00428D39. 00428D39, where is that? There it is. 00428D39. And that's the bad message. So you can see, um, this conditional jump makes it jump to the bad message. If, you know, these things. The things above it make the conditional jump work, but we're not going to worry about that. So we're just going to make sure this conditional jump doesn't work so that the program just keeps reading its code and hits this eventually. You know what I mean? Because usually it's reading the code like this. It reads, 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 hits this, and totally jumps to here. But we're going to, yeah, NLP it so then it just keeps reading past this and hits this. We're going to right click, go to binary, fill up NLPs. NLPs means no operation. We're gonna click the play button to run the program. All right, um, here's the program. We type in any name, just enter in your name or whatever. I don't care. Um, and then you type in any random password you want. Uh, I'll do hamster again for fun. And this time, when I click validate, it works. Tada! 